Today I'm going to be painting this room using a paint sprayer. Um, I'm also going to be reviewing the Wagner Flexio 590 power sprayer. Um, I didn't see reviews online that I liked uh, or walkthroughs, so I'm going to try and show you how to use it and then also let you know how I liked it. I don't have a lot of experience with power sprayers. Uh, I usually do it by hand with a roller and a brush, so uh, I'll give you some feedback as well. Um, <clears throat> This is the Flexio 590. I just unpacked it, so it's brand new. Comes in uh, three pieces: the main sprayer. Uh, there's a little detailed one, and then this is the unit itself. So pretty easy setup. You just twist it in. It's got a few settings. Um, instructions are pretty thorough, but uh, this gives you the air power. I'm going to put it on seven. Uh, recommend seven to nine for the power setting for indoor uh, use on a latex paint. Um, you've got a few adjustments here. I can uh, adjust this nozzle, uh, which gives me a thin or wide spray. I'm going to use a wide spray. I can also turn this uh, from side to side, which will allow me to spray a vertical line or a horizontal line. I'm going to go horizontal uh, since I'm going to be painting the walls and the ceilings. Uh, that's going to be the best application for me. Um, there is also a little uh, power adjustment here. Uh, this lets you squeeze the trigger a certain amount. Um, this has a two-stage trigger, so you pull it halfway, which starts the engine, and then when you pull it the rest of the way, it sprays out paint. So, pretty simple to use, supposedly. Take this off, put some paint in it. Um, this is kind of cool. This face is either forwards or backwards. So if you're spraying up, it'll grab the paint from the back. If you're spraying down, you can turn it around. So I'm going to have this facing upward for my application. So it looks like there's a little detailed sprayer in here and then some cleaning stuff. Supposedly this thing's easy to clean. We'll see. This doesn't seem like it's doing me any good. Got a five gallon bucket of paint. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up to about the top, which is 45 ounces. Now, you want to prepare your room and your space. Um, this place looks like a Dexter-style kill room right now. Got plastic on all the walls, covering all the doors. You can see back here, plastic's covering up all my tools. I've used paint sprayers in the past, but uh, I usually rent them from Home Depot, the big $600 paint sprayers, and I pay $100 a day to use them. This thing was $150, so if it works well, it'll have been a good investment. Um, I did read that you really want to be careful to keep it clean. So each time you use it, uh, Follow the instructions, you need to fill it with water afterwards, uh, clean it out, and then run the water through some soapy water. Uh, <clears throat> this cord doesn't seem long enough, so I've got an extension cord. So we're plugged in and ready to go. Now it comes with this little test area uh, to kind of show you how to use it. So I've got my power setting where I want it. Everything seems to be ready to go. Um, you want to hold it about 6 to 12 inches away from your surface. Also, you don't want to fan it uh, because that's not going to give you an even coat. You want to start here and move steadily across. Um, so I'm going to engage the trigger halfway first and then uh, I'll get the paint going. Once it starts, uh, I'll move and we'll see how it looks. Okay, I might be a little too far away. Well, that seems to give a nice even coating. Um, you know, I can't really read the words on here anymore, so um, I'm gonna do two coats everywhere, which should be good, but it seems to work nicely, so I'm gonna take this down and go ahead and get started. Normally, doing a room like this, it's about 13 by 10. Might take a little bit of time, maybe, I don't know, an hour or two. Um, 
and uh, it would take a lot of muscle running a roller up and down, having to reload the roller. So hopefully this is nice and quick. Let's check it out. Start in the corner. And, uh, Show you kind of what my room looks like so everything's covered everything's protected so i don't have any overspray i'm going to paint the ceilings and the wall the same color i've got my window all blocked off i also found that since i have this all closed off and this is uh, aerating the paint that it's all in the air you can see it with the flashlights so uh, i've got my respirator uh, i definitely recommend using a good quality respirator those little masks are are cheap it's worth the investment to get something nice uh, this next part, I'm going to show you how I'm spraying this whole window. Uh, I've got it taped off properly so that uh, hopefully I can get every inch of it without having to touch a brush. Alright, so that little thing works pretty good. Um, I was thinking I might have to come back with a roller or a brush so I have it handy. Uh, but with this tool I was able to pretty much get the job done. Uh, you can see I just painted this whole wall, including trimmed out all the window in uh, just a couple minutes. I'm using a similar colored paint so you can't really appreciate too much, but you can see the overspray. And then on these sockets that uh, it's getting a nice even coat. Uh, so uh, it might be hard to pick up on the camera, but I can see here um, it's looking pretty good. Once I get some more light in here, you'll be able to see it, the difference. All right, it's pretty decent coverage. I like it, good review. Uh, so we'll see how it holds up. I'm gonna do this entire condo. Hopefully I can knock the whole thing out in one day by myself with this power tool. Um, I do still have a brush for uh, getting in and doing fine work around the windows. Although if you've protected your windows properly, um, I'm going to actually hit this window entirely with the paint sprayer uh, and not have to do any brush work. Uh, we'll see if that works. But uh, I'll continue and then I'll uh, update here at the end.